Hey, well, hello viewers, and welcome back once again to our lovely game of Cities Skylines with me, PPG Chu. Um, it's been quite a bit of time since we had uh, last played this, for me anyways, and with that said, I figured we'd start off just by checking out uh, what have we have we done here in Lake Whale. Well, um, starting from one corner to another, I suppose, we start off with, uh, oh, that's right, I remember we made a bit of a public dump over here, so this takes care of most of the, most of the trash in Inside the city and it will continue to do so for quite some time and that is right around our lumber industry partially over here with some housing right next to it here um, going forwards from there we have a bit of a main complex for lumber a few buildings on the side as well and then we start to move into the town nice and proper with some it looks like these are these are actually nice little offices on on from the looks of it a main boulevard which is quite nice and of course we have the nice city uh, develop portions of the city on the other side of the coast and moving over here we have the uh, bit of an urban sprawl actually a lot of uh, residential areas and a lot of uh, neat things like that uh, but unfortunately this side of the city isn't doing all too well and let's see what their demands are um, apparently there is not enough electricity so let's take a look at what's happening over here and it looks like while there is enough power where there well there is enough power technically for everyone it doesn't necessarily fully encompass this area which is rather unfortunate, but we'll see what we can solve that, what uh, what we can do to solve that shortly. And I'm thinking of building something like this, a mega project, a big old dam with a road on top of it. This is going to provide us with, hopefully, um, as much juice as we can. It's actually rather nice I managed to find this spot in one go. So we'll pluck this down. This thing should be generating electricity in just a few moments, I hope, or perhaps we needed to flip it around. We'll see, though. We'll see. Nope. Looks like we need to flip that around. It's alright, that's going to cost us quite a, quite a lot of cash. Or actually, no, we got that back. So, we'll try this again, and we'll see what we can do here. Come on, flip over, flip, flip. Come on. Oh, would you look at that? The game actually uh, simulates the water right now. And it is indeed moving. Maybe if I paint it the other way across... Huh. Or maybe it just takes some time, you know what? Uh, with that said, I mean, still, nevertheless, we have cash for it, so I think we'll just leave this as is. Uh, see whether or not it produces electricity soon enough, right? I mean, I think the main thing is that the water has to wash over it for a while before things start off, so let's take a look at this. Either way, water should build up right around here, and indeed it is. And for the first portion of the dam, I think we get a little bit of a spill over, or maybe not. And then it should start pumping out uh, electricity sometime soon. Either way, uh, we'll see, we'll see. That might take a bit of time for it to build up, but... Uh, nevertheless, it should start momentarily, so I think we'll leave that for now. And that will solve the electricity problem. Oh, ooh, would you look at that? All the cars going, f flowing into and out of the city in with, uh, well, with little slowdown here and there. Except for maybe this, but I think this is actually, yeah, these are parked cars. Oddly enough, parked cars blocking uh, a parking lot right there, but that's fine. That's fine. And now... Take a look at the dam. How is it doing? Now it's underway. It's uh, starting to, I guess, oh, dam up the river. And would you look at that? It is... Yeah, it's going to spill over by a little bit right there. <laughs> well, we will let that do its thing because that is going to give us more than enough power to fuel double the size of a city. So I'm fine with that. And man, that is quite the lovely size. Hopefully it doesn't back up the river, because, I mean, it can. You can actually flood things with uh, with your dams and all inside this game. They haven't given us a really mountainous map just to play on uh, yet, but in the event that you have something like that going on, you can indeed, uh, well flood lower planes of the map and maybe even uh you know well obviously i haven't tried it but maybe even build things within the lower uh portions of the map uh where the the un the the the, the for flooded parts that are now available if you build a dam in certain locations or something like that so overall very very neat uh, gameplay feature there we have an electric dam in nice lake dale over here and soon enough 
we will have a nice strip of uh, houses right over here. So I figured we pluck these down. This is going to be a lot of uh, different alleyways and such like that. Um, how I could speed this up is I could perhaps make this area, say, two one-way streets. So, for example, I wanted to really cram a few houses in the back of uh, Pleasant Park area over here. And right inside there, I mean, it might be worth our while to do, say, uh, remove these roads, pluck down some one-way roads now that we have the ability to, or not necessarily the ability to, but the, uh, the, the ability to, like, micro uh, or manage this better. Not necessarily micromanage it, but you guys get the point. So we'll do, say, this is a one-way rate straight going this way, and then we'll delete this one. Bye-bye cars. We'll get rid of this one like this. Uh, got another one-way street down, and this time, hopefully, we'll be able to link it, uh, let's say, something like this, something exactly perfectly straight, and that'll set up this neighborhood. So now, the only question is, what do we, we want in here? And I'm thinking of a nice, uh, lovely low density residential area that kind of creeps into this uh, industry by by some amount but I think this will be good um, so that'll do exactly just that and oh my oh my would you look at that they have some nice red trees near the industry area so this is good that should satisfy housing for for some time and now uh, doing a quick check electricity is of course good we could pump out some more sewage uh, what else? We could also get a water treatment plant, which will start churning the waters over here into something, say, a bit more uh, pleasant for people around here. Because as you may have noticed, everything down here is unfortunately all being polluted by our stack of, uh, well, sewage pumps right here. So that is that. Uh, garbage disposal is good. Health, unfortunately, isn't, especially for the residences over here. So let's put that down a health clinic right there. And right over here inside this area, I'm guessing the industrial zones are really uh, not contributing to good health. So we might, uh, we'll, we'll see what we have to do about that. Um, hmm, I could try to remove some of these buildings with a, with a healthcare clinic, but let's just take a look at this clinic and see how it is doing right now. So let's see. All of its ambulances are in use. It's treating right around 75% of the patients it can take. And with that said, I'm under the impression is that the amount of ambulances in use are the, uh, are the, are the problem there. So let's go into the budget panel, bring this up, and let's go to budget nice and properly. Let's give them 120% of their budget uh, this way. More ambulances should be able to be launched. So yeah, they'll be able to launch two more ambulances. So that should hopefully help us out in treating some more people. Okay, so that area should be good. Lots of people going to the hospital right over here. Lots of people using the university, which is absolutely wonderful. So, what else should we develop? What else should we develop? Well, we have all of this land right over here. And we can try to make something nice uh, going to the two junctions right over here. So, with that said, let's do this. And let's pluck down a nice double boulevard road right over here. And what I think we'll do going from that is we'll connect it like this. And this kind of gives us uh, two areas to build on. One, I want to build something right around this area, right around this area, right around this area, and over here as well. And I'm going to see how well we can just link these ports of the city up so that they all function nicely. So uh, starting off with that, you know what? I'm going to delete that part. I want all of these intersections to work out nicely. So uh, we're going to have to get rid of uh, yeah this part as well, but that's fine. Um, link it like that. So now it's a it's a really cohesive type of thing. Lots of offices over here So I think this will be perfect for some some minor residential uh, areas here and there and some other things around here as well And this is how I figured we do it. Uh, we want to take pressures off of these intersections as best as we can um, So I figured we would get a one-way street to, uh, to go through all of this 
Uh, make it nice though, so that I mean everybody can use it nice and, and efficiently, but really get it to go around like that. So it can spew people in and it can put people out like that. And maybe even over here, I should have uh, should have made this node a elevated platform, but maybe, just maybe we can do something like this. So we can go across, hopefully connect like that, drop this thing back down. Uh, go a little bit further and then connect it like that as well. So this gives us some area to play around with. I'm going to make a one way street back into we well, actually no, this is also a one way street. So in that case, we're going to get rid of this part. Let's just build up this uh, area before we consider the streets now, shall we? So I think we'll go with that and we'll go with a junction like that. So people can go in, they can go in here, through here, and then they can go back out. Uh, so that's quite nice. And inside this area, I'll try to do something similar, but this area is, uh, say, a tad more padded than the last. We'll try something like that, I suppose, a one-way street connecting all the people over here. So now, uh, designating this area, I have a feeling that some, some more residencies will be uh, will be required over here. Some house or some uh, some shopping along the sides here. Uh, so I think we'll make something like that happen. And now over here, uh, we'll get a stack of office buildings and I suppose some minor shops to handle the uh, the people truly living in residence here. Um, just something something nice and pretty and we'll let that grow for now. And is that all supplied with water? Yes, it is. That is going to be quite nice. Okay, so out of that, let's see what we can do for, ed for, uh, for, for quality of life benefits as well. Uh, we could use a few more parks. And let's see, where can we put a nice park? We can probably put one somewhere around this junction. And that'll make all of the people uh, living over here a little happier, so that's good. One over here, probably. I'm gonna remove a few houses for handling oh, a lot of people right around there. Um, over here, it doesn't seem like a lot of people like or want how or yeah, it doesn't seem like they want a lot of parks where they're just not using that one. Um, I can put another one right here. I guess I will. Oh, that actually solves it quite nicely. So that'll cover quite a lot of people's uh, luck or recreational needs. Very, very good. And lastly, I suppose we'll have one right here that'll handle a minor amount of people. Um, you know what? We might as well have quite a quite a big one near here. So that was oh that's right that is a statue. So I might as well remove the or put something next to the statue area, and that increases our lux our our people's quality of life by a small amount. I'm gonna see whether or not I can squeeze just a few more in just to get some more coverage, and it looks like that helps us out by by a lot. Maybe we can put one near the cemeteries as well. Um, not that people really need them near the uh, the offices and all, but that should help out, and that should give a, get our city going. And would you look at that? Our newly placed uh, area of the city is already being built. Lots of people are moving in and such like that. So this is quite nice, right? So we could try to work towards building a few of these specialty buildings now. So for example, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, Lorette Plaza, that one's actually for poor health. We don't necessarily want to want uh, something like that. Statue of Shopping over here. Shopping is a wonderful thing. The Statue of Shopping is a constant reminder of the bliss that is is to purchase something. And this is apparently a, a requirement to building the, uh, the Hydron Collider. So that's quite interesting. And what do we need to do here? It is apparently locked to us, so we can't even tell what it is. So, okay, that's that. Oh, but we can build a few other things, so let's see. Fountain of Life and Death. This is a pretty fountain that reminds us of the, the fragility of life. Um, it is somehow required to build a nuclear or a fusion, a fusion plant. So, that is quite neat. Uh, where should we put this? Where should we put this indeed? I think we'll put this near the uh, the main intersection right over here so that it looks quite nice and it'll service the uh, the people coming in and out of the city. And nevertheless, that is quite the beautiful park set up right over here. Right, so that does that. Uh, taking a look at some of the other zoning. What else can we do here? Um, so this area should staff a few more people. Let's build a few more, uh, you know, 
commercial districts right over here. Uh, we could do with some more offices just to handle people wanting housing as well. And this time, you know what? I'm gonna get the parks down before we build the, uh, the, the residences. So I think we'll put one right there. And you know what? We'll put one right over here as well. Just a small park just for, for the people living over here. And construction is fast. That is all going to pop up. And our buildings just never seem to stop leveling up, which is wonderful. So now, inside the back here, I'm going to make this into a into a junction. I think, uh, or rather, I don't want to link it up like that. I want all of these to be more so straight roads. So we'll see whether or not these two can connect. That's a, you know what, that'll be good enough. Uh, we'll go like that. I'll link it to where it's the back here, and likewise, keeping the, the number of junctions small, but uh, the amount of area serviced here large. We'll do something like that. And let's see, that's going to be messy. There we go. And right inside the back here, let's get... Uh, ooh, I don't know. Hmm... I was going to do industrial zones inside the back here, but come to think of it, you don't necessarily want to live right along the edge of the highway here. But you know what? Nevertheless, I think we'll, we really do need housing, so we'll, 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 we'll put some people inside the back of the area here. Get them water, and get them set up like that. It's rather nice. These water pipes you can just kind of spread everywhere. They don't necessarily cost too much, so you don't necessarily have to be fully... Uh, fully efficient with these if you don't want them to be. So we'll just blob it out like that. There we go. And that gets this area covered with water. And right, so with all this new housing and stuff, we should probably get some sort of a medical center set up. So I think we'll put another clinic down right here. That'll be that. And a fire station as well. And how are we doing on, on crime? There should be very, very little crime inside our city, so this is good. And for education, we'll get a nice elementary, perhaps, right over here. Really large smiley faces coming out of that elementary, so that is very good. And I think we'll have maybe one over here as well, providing some more coverage. And taking a look at other things, how are we doing for high schools? We've got three over there, might as well pluck one more down over here. That should cover this area. And I plan on expanding this area next, so let's get another one right over here as well. And there we go, that will be uh, that coverage. And then taking a look at public transportation once again, we're getting 28 tourists per week. Lots of people coming in, we're lots of people uh, using the bus routes and some people using the tra the, uh, the what's it called? The uh, subway system as well, so lots of activity going on here. And that represents right around, yeah, 10% uh, of our population, so this is good. This is reducing traffic. Uh, speaking of traffic, there is some blockages here. Let's try to figure this out, observe it, and see what exactly is happening here. Okay, so it's uh, there, there's there's definitely some backlog here, but for the most part, I, I see a lot of throughput once that uh, I suppose this red light shuts off. So this is uh, this is good. This is good to know. Um, taking a look at this area right over here in particular, it looks like some people actually want to cross over here. So maybe we could build perhaps another one-way road that will smooth out that process. Uh, we already have one thing going to down to the lower levels over here. So that is uh, quite something to note. Hmm. It would be nice if we could split this up, but you know what? I think this is uh, the best possible for now, so we'll let it continue. And I'm just gonna see whether or not we can perhaps transfer all of the landfill uh, crap over there. That'll free out this thing, or it'll take some time to empty, I suppose. And afterwards, we can uh, get rid of that landfill and we can switch it out for something new, which would be quite nice. Okay, so that gets more and more of the city going. Could use another bridge right over here. And well, I think that is all we have time for inside this episode. So, with that said, 
Looks like we built up another set of our, our metropolis area of our city. Not that uh, not that over there is, isn't a metropolis already. I think next episode we'll just continue by growing Lakedale out to the, uh, the forested areas over here. Bye-bye till then.